Have you ever sent an email by mistake and uh, wish you could take it back? In this video, I'll show you how to delete sent email from recipient's inbox on Gmail and what to do if it's too late to recall it. So let's start the video. All right, guys, I'll divide this video into two important parts. One is how to enable one of the most important features on Gmail that can avoid such uh, mistakes in the future. And I uh, you know that's very helpful. And the second part is called what if it's too late? I'll give you some really practical steps how to, uh, you know, fix the error, how to, you know, uh, what to do, what's next if you're not able to recall that email or delete that email. So as you can see, we are on our Gmail screen. Uh, I'll show you how to uh, compose an email and uh, what to do, uh, how to undo this and recall this uh, once the email is sent. Let's say write an email here and uh, send this. So you have an option to undo this, but this undo is only for five seconds. So the first step is to go to settings, click on see all settings and here in the journal, in the general, sorry. You have to change this send cancellation period from five seconds to it. To maximum that is 30 seconds and don't forget to save this changes i'll save this changes for now so now what happens is next time you try to send an email instead of uh, giving you five seconds to you know recall this email you will get uh, additional 25 seconds that's a total of 30 seconds to recall this email so that's uh, one of the features that you have to enable Let's move on to the second part, what if it's too late? So, but if you have realized the mistake after the time limit has passed and unfortunately Gmail doesn't offer a way to recall emails once you have been, once they have been delivered, here's what you can do. So the first thing is to send a follow-up email because you can always send a follow-up email apologizing and clarifying the mistake as soon as possible. That's number one. And number two is uh, you can also request uh, a recipient to delete the email because if you have sent sensitive information to the wrong person, you can always ask them to delete the email without reading it, which uh, will definitely not happen. I know. So, and the third step or the most uh, important step is always use uh, this option here. If you click on compose and you have this log sign, it says confidential mode. You can click on this and you can set uh, auto expiry for this email. Let's say you can select uh, expires in one day, one month. If you select this one, what will happen is uh, the recipient won't have the option to forward or print or download this email. I'll show you how it works. So let's say I will save this and uh, I write an email to other email, to my other email address. There you go. We have received an email and uh, you can see that this content expires, this email expires 2nd of September, though you do not have an option to forward or print this. You can see if you click on this three dots, you're not able to forward or print this email. So that's one way to protect your emails. And uh, if you are not able to recall and this feature is not working, then if you are using Google Workspace and you're in a corporate setting, you can always approach the IT guy or the legal team if you have uh, mistakenly sent out to some confidential data. Uh, and you can check with your legal and compliance to follow the protocol and uh, see if there is a way. Because uh, most of the time, uh, corporates do use uh, some email trackers and some, you know, extra layer of security if you're working with uh, some big corporations. So you can check with them. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give a like and comment down. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.